What's up everyone, Justice Good here, and I got 8 Photoshop tips for you. I'm just going to jump right into it. Command R brings up the ruler tool. Command R hides the ruler tool. So you can click with your mouse on the white ruler and drag out guides. These blue lines, I already had some set up on this picture. But guides snap to the edges of your layer or the middles of your layer, and you can move a layer to snap to guides. So that way you can center an image Command H hides these guides. So, Command H, it'll be hidden. Command R, hide the ruler. If you push F on the keyboard, you can go into full screen mode and scroll around. If you push F again, you can view your picture full screen with a black background. And if you push F again, it returns to normal. Okay, now let's say you want to brush in some detail or just zoom into a certain area so you can work on it. Okay, so that's not working, so Command Z, Edit Undo, that's the most basic Photoshop shortcut. But if you hold Option and scroll in on your mouse, you can zoom in and pay attention to the area you want with better detail. And holding Option and scrolling out will scroll back out. Now once you do this, it's hard to get back to exactly 100%, so if you hold Option, Command Zero, it brings you back to 100% actual size. Now if you hold Option and Command and click on one layer, it makes it so that is the only layer that is visible and hides every other layer. This is really useful and I use this one a lot when I'm trying to see what a layer is. It's better than hiding every other layer. But be careful with that because if you're unorganized and you start working after you hide it, you might have to go manually recheck all the visibilities. And for our last tip, new layer, command shift N, that creates a new layer. It's easier than going to lay your new layer, but I find myself doing both. It doesn't really matter. If you hold shift while selecting in between layers, for example, hold shift and click the top layer and then hold while holding shift, go down and click another layer, it selects that those two layers and every layer in between. But if you want to work on your whole image on one layer without duplicating and merging, you can just go to the new layer and go to image, apply image. Like so, you can play around with those settings. There's different uses for this. But now I have my whole image on one layer. And I can do whatever I want with it and work on the whole layer as one flat image without flattening the image. So this is useful if you want to add certain effects. This is a finished poster, but if I wanted to add more effects to it, that's what I would do. And there you go. I think that was eight or so Photoshop tips that I actually use. Thank you. Check out my channel for more tutorials. And I'll see you next time.